Can you feel that? That thing that's beating your dog on chest right now. Can you feel it? Can you feel what's about to happen on this wheel, man? Let's go. All right, guys, S. Gibbs here to show you how to set your custom audibles in Madden NFL 12. We're going to go into our custom audibles through the play menu. As you can see here, we select the Dallas Offensive Playbook, go into it, and we're going to start immediately removing every single play from this playbook. That goes for every eye formation, every package, everything that you can possibly remove. You're going to run into a couple plays that you can't remove. So, for example, you have to have one play action play in your playbook. Uh, and then your game plan, you have some situational plays that you won't be able to remove right off the bat. But as you can see here, we go to remove every other play that's in the game. So here's the play action play, PAFL drive. We can't remove it because we need to have at least one play action play in our playbook. Uh, there the FL drive is a situational play, so we can't remove that because it's attached to our game plan uh, into specific situations in the game. Once we remove all the plays that we can, we're going to go to the first play that we want to be our audible. For this example, we pick the I-form type fullback dive and add it back into our playbook. After we add it, the fullback dive from I-form tight into our playbook, we're going to make that the number one play for every single situation in the game in our game plan. So as you can see, we're going into the game plan. We hit LB on 360 to get to our game plan. We start adding the fullback dive to every single situation and making it the number one option. We do that by pressing the A button on fullback dive. Uh, you, you can also just remove the other plays but once you add fullback dive, but it's just quicker and easier if you just add the fullback dive that way. Once you do that, you want to go back to your playbook and start removing all the plays. You won't be able to remove the play I can play again, but all the other plays that were attached to your situational game plan, you can start removing. So once you're done, you should ha you have your playbook look like this. Single back and the I-form play that you added, and that's the only play in the game. After this, you're going to go back into your playbook, start adding your other plays. The first four plays that you add to your playbook will be your other four audibles. So the I-form fullback tight dive was your first audible. Then we added the halfback sweep, the Bronco angle, the single back bunch flanker drive, and then now the eagle uh, tight a deep in. So once you add all these plays in, these are now going to be your audibles. These are the only plays that are in your playbook, including that play action play, but for whatever reason, play action play does not matter. Once you do this, you need to save your playbook, save it whatever you want, any type of name you want. We just pick custom cowboys. That's not a problem. Once you save this, just go into practice mode. Make sure that your plays are set up so as you can see, we grab the custom cowboys playbook. We're going to head right into practice mode. We can see on our left or right panel there that all of the plays that we picked are our audible. So we're going to just go and break down each one here. Fullback dive, halfback sweep there. Uh, now we, we came out in the Bronco angle from shotgun two back. There it is again. Um, next audible is to the single back bunch flanker drive. So you can see we have all our audible set. Um, this is pretty important, guys. Now you're able to actually set your custom audibles, which is just outstanding. Uh, we're going to go back into our playbook after we see that, so we'll quit practice mode. We're going to start adding in plays that we want to complement uh, our audible. So uh, we'll add a couple plays from the I-form tight. Uh, and remember, these will be your quick audibles, so make sure you set plays that you like. Uh, for, for whatever reason, some plays won't translate over into your quick audibles, but just mess around and tinker with it until you get a right combination. I've been able to set up my playbook uh, pretty nicely with all the custom playbooks. Uh, here we have just more plays we're adding to the shotgun formation. Now we're going to check out some in the single back bunch. Uh, once you get all the plays set up, you're going to again want to save your playbook. You might want to override it uh, or create a new playbook. It's up to you. Uh, but it's, again, just make sure you save your playbook again. Go back into practice mode to make sure and check it out. All in all, guys, this is probably only going to take you... I say probably about 15 minutes the first time you do it, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to be doing it between five and seven minutes a pop. So here we have it again. We, we save it over our old playbook, the Custom uh, Cowboys, and we're going to head right back into practice mode to check to see if it worked. I want to note another quick thing here as well. You can do the same exact setup for your defensive playbook. So it doesn't just have to be... Uh, for offense. So you can do offense and defense. So here we have the plays that we added. So we see halfback draw, mesh from the shotgun two-back, halfback slash, bunch verticals. Those are all in our playbook now. There's stick, 
there's the inside zones. We have all the plays that we just wanted to add are now showing up in our playbook. So as you can see, we have our audible set. Uh, we can audible to and from. We have our quick audibles in our playbook. And let's just break down what that means. So that means that in theory, you remove every play from your playbook, reinsert the plays back in, and then you're able to have your custom audibles. The very first five plays you put back into your playbook after every play has been removed will become your audibles. So make sure that you set your audibles up properly because you can't remove them once you do that. You have to start the whole process all over again with a clean slate. Uh, hope this guy's help. Hope this helps you guys. S. Gibbs here. Send me questions on Twitter. We'll talk later. Hey guys, S. Gibbs here, PrimaMadden.com, uh, to talk to you about the custom playbooks. That was the breakdown, but I wanted to try and explain it a little bit more. So the basic gist of what you're doing is you are removing every single play that you possibly can from the playbook. What's going to happen, you're going to run into a couple plays that you can't remove. One in particular is a play action. Every playbook is going to have a play action that has to be left in the book. Why? I don't know. But the other plays that you won't be able to remove are any play that's assigned as the number one option in your game plan, your situational game plan. So that's things like uh, first and ten, uh, fourth and long, fourth and short, run the clock out. So what you need to do after you remove every single play from your playbook, you need to go in and add whatever audible it is that you're looking to have as one of your audibles. So for example, in this video I added I form tight fullback dive because I wanted that to be one of my audibles. So I added that into the playbook, went into game plan, and made that the number one option for my situational purpose for every situation. And remember, you can go back and you can change that later on, so don't worry about that. You can re-add plays in and get your situational game flow in order. But for this purpose, just make that your number one option for every, every single situation. Once you do that, the next four plays that you add into the playbook will become your audibles. Now, after you do that, you definitely want to save your playbook and then go back and go into practice mode just to make sure. I highly, 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 highly recommend that you save and, and keep that one file in order. Uh, that way that you'll have a, f a fresh slate with your playbook. Um, so that means you'll save your playbook and then go back and make a new playbook off of that one you already saved. So just resave it as something else just so you have that clean slate that you can keep going back to and, and add more formations and plays and things like that into. So um, any questions, let me know. I'm on Twitter. You can get after me at any time, any time of the day, any place, anywhere you want. Uh, again, it's sgib 7 on Twitter. Message me if you have any questions. Remember, you can do this on defense. If you guys like, I can do a defensive tutorial as well. But for the time being, I hope this helps you guys. And remember, a whole lot of you and only a little tiny bit of me we're changed mad community. One snap at a time.